Hey there, today we're going to be taking a look at Hogwarts Legacy running on all of the different memory configurations I can have on this Ryzen 5 5500U laptop. So we're going to be testing it out with 8GB of RAM, 12GB of RAM, and 16GB of RAM. The 8GB of RAM is going to be in dual channel, so that's two 8GB sticks. The 12GB configuration will be one 4GB stick and one 8GB stick together. And the 16GB will be, of course, two 8GB sticks. So all configurations are running at dual channel, though the 12GB is going to be a mismatch. So we're going to see what this configurations actually end up doing to the performance on a very popular but very controversial title. Now since the game doesn't have a built-in benchmark I'm just going to be running around Hogsmeade here and you can see that with the 8 gigabyte configuration we are really struggling here. Specifically there is a whole lot of stuttering and rubber banding happening so the game is really just not able to hold itself together at all like this. The 12 gigabyte configuration is also struggling here though the 1% lows are significantly higher than they were with just eight gigabytes of RAM, though still in the single digit range. Meanwhile, the 16 is by comparison looking like an actual playable experience, except 1% lows in the teens isn't exactly impressive, but the other memory configurations really just make it seem like it might as well be a supercomputer. Interestingly enough, pretty much all configurations are being maxed out in terms of the amount of RAM that they are utilizing, really leaving the absolute bare minimum for Windows to even operate in the background. So it's no question that 8 gigabytes and 12 gigabytes are really struggling here, but if you pay attention, the 16 gigabyte version also ends up eventually having the exact same stuttering problems that the others have, and they all end up having 1% lows around the same range. Now, if you just run around enough, both the 12 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte do end up recovering their 1% lows after a while, but they still end up at really, really low ranges. Really seems like as the memory just becomes overloaded, what ends up happening is the performance is going to tank anyway. As you can see here, we're focusing on just the 16 gigabyte version, and no matter what, it does eventually end up having these stutters. What ends up happening is you just end up delaying how frequently they end up happening, but they're still present here. So as you're roaming around the world and playing through, you're still going to have these drops in the 1% lows. I'm almost curious if 32 gigabytes would be enough to solve these problems, since there does seem to be at least some form of reduction in how frequently these drops happen when you have more RAM. So I might actually finally end up picking up a 32 gigabyte kit just for these types of tests since it seems like a lot of modern games are starting to use a crap ton of RAM. But if you would like to help support that happening, then of course please check out those Amazon affiliate links down below or consider becoming a channel member. I don't really push the channel memberships too much since I don't feel like it gives a lot of value to you guys yet. I definitely plan on bringing a lot more towards it so that you guys actually have a reason to subscribe for that. But if you're interested in just directly supporting the channel, you can always become a channel member and that would be great greatly appreciated. It helps me get equipment for these videos a lot quicker, but I appreciate you watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.